Well, that was weird. We should have a talk. What about? Uh... Okay, then I'll just deliver these letters. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was. A... I thought that conversation was going to go further. Maybe we'll come back to it. Meanwhile, at the wall? Yes, the wall. It took me a while to recognise the inside of it. They say it'll be a pure autumn. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Hmm. Most of you will be dead within the year. My frost finger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? Why? The wall was why? erected over eight thousand years. At this girl I used to, to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Ooh. Turned out she was married to some weirdly. Huh. He tried to stick me with this. Oh. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. What dire crew are you here for? Fucking potatoes. You're fucking potatoes? You fuck potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got me sent to the war. No I was hoping that was going to be an Don't option. Call me that. <laughs> My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato fucker. <laughs> There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? I'll be honest, it was me. Tuttle. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. Yeah. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all going to show me what you're made of. Cool. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Let's Those see how many well times I fuck up this time. Just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. John Snow. John. Good day, John on, Snow. Go on then. Let's see what we're doing. Best of luck, Tuttle. I guess those are my new. Um, Grennan. Stimpy. <laughs> Whatever the other guy's name was. Hmm. So. Let's see, what's it? What's a frost fingers up there? Hanging out with Lord Snow. Uh, now, let's see. Demonstrate my combat skills. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the sword. I know um, Garrett's used the sword before. You grab a practice sword. We'll go for that one. That'll do. I'll be sparring with you today. Cool. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Now. Hopefully I won't fuck up all the buttons. Good luck to you, mate. Come on, keep at it. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, are we gonna Oh be <laughs> well, four. 
Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. I don't know. So what happens if we fight you? when he sees you coming <laughs> let me show you all right let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass go on then Shoot watch the as I fuck I tell this you to. okay let's start easy middle dummy center of the chest Can follow orders at least. Right. Oh. Left target. Head. Whoa. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. C between the eyes. Oh, uh, whoa. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Cheers. Didn't do too bad there. <laughs> he still hurt his foot. Fucking hell. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right. <laughs> I don't think you take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. So, what other training do I have? There was the... no. Come and do some you barrel lifting. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. All right. Right. I can do this. Yeah, we can. Fucking hell, yeah. What a douche. to the winch. So thanks mate. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Oh, this is gonna be a thing like uh, like like Gren. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his car. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrie. <laughs> Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You 
little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. It. Oh! I won't say it again. Well, this wasn't the fight I was expecting. Expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine, let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Mm. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you. Come with me. Of course he did. Fuck's sake. <coughs> I can imagine Garrett's going to get in, into a bit of trouble throughout this episode. So, I wonder what's in store for it on top of the wall. Also, I should probably talk more. <laughs> God, this loading. Ah, there we go. Whenever I decide to start complaining about loading. This way. Oh, we're well, here, are we? With Mirror I again. Love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love King's place. Landing, much like Hull. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. Why did you? Why did you keep looking you so doing? stern? You will see. I don't know if you guys can see it going all story. weird and like looking pixely. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the queen cellar well stocked. Hmm. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Are you sure? A little won't hurt. Ah. So, I, uh... What did you do? What's she done? Well, just tell me. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Are you asking me out? Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You okay, can okay, tell okay. no one. I swear. I promise. I won't tell a soul. Depending on what it is. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Yeah. She became pregnant. It was a Who disgrace your to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. So? I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. So? Who else knows about this? 
Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just. No, I, I keep don't want that. to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince mm. Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. To who? I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. Well, there is all that shit your going father, off. And your father. Yeah, but the other brothers come back from the dead, so. And the other one's coming back off. You need this more than I do. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hmm. <laughs> a conspiracy of handmaidens. Nah, Tyrion. <laughs> My lord. Ladies. Tyrion will just want some of the wine. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. <laughs> I thought that would be our answer. <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Hmm. Most of the Royal Navy ended up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. Mm. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on so my obviously, way to meet representative. This Lord is uh, before Lord Whitehill. Wherever whores go. He's hired a but it, it, it's Lord after um, Lord Snow became it the Lord, Lord Commander of the Watch. The right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jump cell swords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with hmm. me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. Okay, let's see what happens here. My lady. I better not have got another one of the foresters killed. Yeah, for some reason on my screen, half of the images are all like blurry and stuff. It's not on the capture card. I've just looked behind on where it's capturing, so hopefully you're not seeing it. You're seeing it in like glorious high definition. Well, I say high definition, whatever the fuck it is. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. I'm sure that happens quite a lot Who for Lannisters. Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Yep. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. 
Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am Tell I. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord I probably got someone else killed, didn't I? You've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. He seems a bit more respectable. But the other guy seems like he's related to the other the other now, as Lord of Whitehall. And he's a twat. My lord? The crown's iron room. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the crown needs. You're suggesting the foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Yes, that I Lord am. Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Exactly. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Hmm. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things, but sending an army to the north is not one of them. Well, no. However, I know your house needs this. Oh, what do you reckon, Tyrion? Come on. Come on. I did offer you the wine. I'll consider the arrangement. Cool, cool. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Okay. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake. I hope it's the former. Yeah, me too, because I've already made the mistake of getting Ethan stabbed in the My throat. My lord guard. My guard. Whatever you call him. The pressures of family. Even more achieves. So, let's see. Where can we go next? Okay, now it's three o'clock in the morning. 